on my days. No, I don't even know if there's anyone here, if there's anyone living in these or what. But the guy just said you're more than welcome to go down and check them out. So folks, we're just waiting in our cosy little room here, our Airbnb, and we're just waiting to go and see the Northern Lights. We're heading over towards the Finnish border, the border of Finland. Um, the weather's supposed to be a bit better there, it's supposed to be clearer, so great possibilities tonight. Fingers crossed, Tedos Cruzados, we're going to see something. Excited? Mucho! <laughs> yeah, that's why we've come to Norway really, this is one of the main reasons, so um, just staying cosy in the house until we head off out into the coldness of the Norwegian countryside. The host just making us a nice um, big tub of hot chocolate so while we're waiting around we can keep nice and toasty. But um, yeah, in the meantime, we're just keeping ourselves nice and toasty in this room, folks. It's a beautiful room, look at this. I've had the best sleeps in here and I think it's down to these dream catchers here. It's very random because I never remember my dreams, hardly ever. And the last two nights since we've been staying here in this bed, I've remembered my dreams like they were real. It's crazy. I don't know if it's anything to do with these. No say, I don't know, but... Say hello, Bella. Say hello, Bella. Patatino, leave Bella alone. Oh la la. Bye bye, Bella. Bye bye, Patatino. It's that time, folks. It's that time. The guy's getting our car warm, so vamos. Let's go. So we've just come to the first stop, folks. Welcome to Finland. We're right on the border of Finland here. So we've just stopped here because the sky is quite clear. There's the moon. That's the moon there. As you can see, the roads are real icy. We can't see much, it's pitch black here. We've only got the moonlight here. Obviously the car lights are on, but um, there's the silhouette of Fabiola. <laughs> so yeah, we're just hoping the sky's gonna clear up, folks. We're hoping the sky's gonna clear up. After a couple of hours of sitting in the car, rubbernecking and patiently waiting with cups of hot chocolate and biscuits, we finally had our first glimpse of the Northern Lights. Although it wasn't much, the excitement levels were through the roof and it was a very surreal moment and one I'd waited for for most of my life. But the best was yet to come the following two evenings. Stay tuned for the main events. Well, good morning, folks. Good morning. What an amazing night last night amazing i apologize for the lack of uh, footage last night but literally we were just driving around in the darkness and uh just looking out for the lights in the sky basically so um yeah we were very lucky they showed for about half an hour and then they disappeared so we got back just after midnight it's about 12 30. we've had a little sleep and now we're ready to head on out on our next little adventure which um spirus our host here is going to take us around the fjords and um so we can see a little bit of what goes on around Tromso here. So we've got a good five or six hours of daylight. Uh, so we've got to make the most of that. So we're just getting ready now and we're heading off out to explore this area. So let's go and do this. So something I didn't know here, in the town, is that you get reindeer just knocking about. Beautiful. Hello Rudolf. We've got another one hiding, hiding here, look. That's a nice introduction into the uh, road trip, folks. So this is one of the first stops we've come up to. 
which is one of the fjords that surrounds Tromso. There's been snowing overnight, you can see the snow clouds above and there's a lot of snow on the mountains here. <laughs> Are you filming me? No. <laughs> no. Yes, you are. Am I filming her? No. <laughs> so you can see in the distance here, there's another fjord called Is Fjord. Unfortunately, the view isn't great because of the wind. Uh, the wind, the uh, the cloud. But you can see the mountains on both sides here. It's very windy. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> There she is, trying to keep dry. <laughs> She's having a whale of a time with that umbrella. <laughs> so we just stopped here on the side of the road. And there's a beautiful waterfall here. Maybe we should go for a dip, folks. A nice winter swim. As you can see, it goes straight out into the fjord that we've just been by here. It's such a shame that the clouds are here because it's like a beautiful valley, you know? Spirus, our, guest, our host, was just showing us some photos of how it is on a nice day and it looks absolutely stunning. But uh, we're getting the winter look today, folks. We're getting the winter look. But equally as beautiful in my eyes. The snow is coming in, Babi Bach. <laughs> See snow? So it's just started to snow, folks. But he's just stopped here because this is another. This is a spot where it's really good to see the northern lights in the in the dark. There's a little board here showing you exactly where we are. Beautiful. We've just stopped off at another fjord here and as you can see many people come here for fires lots of fire pits around little benches and it's a real good place for uh for the lights as well for the northern lights but um our guides just telling us here they're building a new port here so uh in the next couple of years i guess there's going to be a new port so you'll be able to come down the the fjord here in the in the cruise ships amazing for fishing also our guy just told us he comes here fishing for sea trout um so yeah surrounded by water everywhere here folks so it's very good for fishing wherever you go i guess we're definitely getting the winter look today where's the sunshine <laughs> in mexico <laughs> in mexico the sun has been left in mexico the but you can see yeah I don't know if you can pick this up, but even the colour of the water is turquoise, even in this colour, even in this weather. And now it's starting to piss it down. Back to the car, folks. Back to the car. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright We've just stopped at this beautiful little spot here Beautiful mountains in the distance not cold at all. No. Look at that nose growing. <laughs> Pin off shock. <laughs> so we've just stopped at the 
side of the road again. So many places to stop, man. It's unbelievable. Look at this little place here. It's so fresh, folks. It's so fresh. Fabiola's staying inside, nice and toasty. But I just want to get some of this fresh air in my lungs as well, man. It's so nice. Look at this. This little place here, it's got its own little jetty. And what our guide's just telling us, um, you might have noticed all, a lot of the houses next to the, the water especially are red, like this one here. So back in the day, hundreds of years ago, uh, the cheapest way for them to paint their houses was to use the fish blood. So when they go fishing, they would collect all the blood from the fish and then they would use the blood to paint the houses. And that's why most of them are red which we've just found out, thanks to our guide, which is very interesting to know. So it's a very traditional way of, of painting their houses, basically. Anyways, let's continue, folks. What a beautiful little road trip. place beautiful houses here and then you've got this little beach here look at that it's like the sand in Playa del Carmen it's like we're in Mexico but look at this even with the clouds above the color of the water is just absolutely stunning man These little house down here unbelievable unbelievable and the destination we're heading to is here samaroy island it's called samaroy and you can just see the little bridge here but just look at this little place down here man unbelievable sorry if i'm saying unbelievable a lot folks but it's unbelievable just in the distance there you can see another small little community Samaroy Island. We're going to be heading over this bridge now. loads of little islands in the distance we've got a fish farm there it's just like an archipelago of islands absolutely stunning the sun's trying to make an appearance there there's a small little community just over there we've got a wind farm up on the mountain there there's the bridge we've just crossed if you can see there there's a frozen mexicana just there <laughs> <laughs> i just get speechless by the small little houses that are just so far away from anything look at this gaff Oh my days. It's got a little sauna down here, look. <laughs> a little green bill in there, a little sauna.
these little cuts, man. Look at these little huts. Unbelievable. How picturesque is that? water break here <clears throat> so they have their little boats obviously absolutely stunning their own little jetty here so they can get off into their little boats I'm lost for words folks I'm lost for words anyway back to the car absolutely love these houses with the little grass roofs This little community. Fuck's sake! It was wonderful, I got to see them. Okay, folks, so we've just stopped off at the only little cafe here on the Samaroy Islands, yeah. which is here. And funnily enough, we have two huge coach parties here as well. So, but anyways, we're going to go inside, see if we can get a nice refreshment, something to eat and drink, because we are hambre. Ah, uh, duck. Well folks, that was delicious, but we have to make a move. The light is leaving us, so we have to take our beers with us. Anyways, that was delicious. I had a fish burger, Fabiola had fish and chips. It's time to move. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through, no limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight, found what we're looking for in life. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather. So folks, I don't know if you've been able to tell, but I'm slightly obsessed with these little houses with grass roofs. And I've been trying to get some good footage of many of them along the way. And we've just driven past the best ones I've seen so far. I've just asked the guy to drop me off. He's gone to turn around, but look at this. This little place out, man. Oh my god. I mean, I don't even know what these are. They look like small little toilets, blocks or something. Look at these, man. Oh my god. It's like a little community. Tiny, tiny little huts. Oh my days. No, I don't even know if there's anyone here, if there's anyone living in these or what. But the guy just said you're more than welcome to go down and check them out. They're right on the waterfront here.
phenomenal folks phenomenal and we're in the middle of nowhere here by the way there's nothing around nothing around but there's stacks of wood here clearly people stay here at some point because there's chairs there's a barbecue just there maybe they're like holiday homes people come here for the summer Absolutely speechless. Absolutely speechless. I mean, I can see with this one, obviously it's big enough to, to kind of live in and, and all of that. A little chimney on the roof there. But you've got these tiny ones. They're like little toilet cubicles. hole in this one, let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a little peep. It's a little toilet, check that out. With some old photos on there. Oh my days, can you pick that up? It's like a very basic little toilet with loads of small little framed photos in there. folks this is rural Norway rural as you get adios what do you think of that what do you think of that Absolutely stunning folks. That's what I've been waiting for this whole trip is to see something like that and as you can see There's not a lot around here. Absolutely stunning mountain in the distance there And these guys are waiting for me patiently Thinking are you fucking crazy or what? Okay, so we've just driven another little bit and we've just found some more. And Fabiola's come with me this time, she's not scared of this one. <laughs> hey, look at these folks, look at these. But they are so Nordic. That's the only word I can explain. Nordic. Check it out, look at this one here. This one's quite well tended to. As you can see with these ones here, they're all very old. Kind of been left to well, not so much done to them, so to speak. But look at this one. Is there anyone home? They have crazy little buildings on. Should we have a little peep through the window? Should we have a look? Net curtains in the window, they've got some flowers there. My guess is this is a holiday home, this one must be some kind of holiday home, you know? Oh my god, look at that! Freaky! This one looks quite empty, you see. But who would live in a house like this? Some trolls? Maybe this is where the trolls live. The grass-roofed houses are for the trolls. That's the one. That's exactly what it is. Oh my god. Anyway, let's poke our nose through here a little bit. There's a little table there, there's chairs. Very basic. What do you think, Bobby? What do you think? Who lives here? 
the trolls. trolls. <laughs> See? Yes. You think? See? Yeah. Unbelievable. Amazing. Amazing, eh? Welcome to Norway. <laughs> So our guides just pulled up here and some old drawings, about 4,000 years old, he says. These drawings here go back four to 5,000 years old. So as you can see, it looks like pictures of reindeers here. Not quite sure what that one is. Again, it's some kind of animal. But here, you can see this one looks like a fish. Again, this looks like a reindeer or a deer or something. Look at this, folks. Touching something that's over 4,000 years old. Unbelievable. Yeah, and again, you see this one looks like a fish or a shark. A little bit of history there, folks. Nordic history. Fascinating. So, after this, I didn't really do any more filming. The reason being is because all we were doing is hanging around in the dark, searching for the Northern Lights. And did we find them? Oh, yes. The footage isn't the best quality, but I'm sure it's good enough for you to appreciate the beauty of one of the highest ranking listings in my bucket list. Check. I'd also like to give our Airbnb hosts and guides a big shout out, Spiros and Lamprini. If you ever go to Tromso, please consider a stay with these guys. They are amazing people and will guarantee you a great stay. I'll leave the link to their Airbnb listings in the description box below. So I leave you with the Northern Lights. Take care folks and until next time, peace. Look, look how it's dancing, look at this, look. <laughs> oh my days. Wow, look at these colors. God, I don't care. <laughs> she can have it. <laughs> yes. uh, I just came out of nowhere. Yeah? Yeah. I just came outside now and I had the head up and I saw this and I said, what?